And now, thanks that we have the Global NCAP. Global NCAP is the way that we will share knowledge, we will share information, and we will be a stronger voice to have standardized all the technical side of a vehicle. We follow the example of Euro NCAP. We are not going to reinvent the wheel. And uh, we just finished, we present the first test, and the same vehicles that we have here in Latin America, they are in the same market in Europe. Same vehicles, there are five stars. Here we have it two or three stars. That means that in many cases, the child or the, the front occupants, they died in the crash. One of the questions that I ask as a mom, it's does my child from Uruguay, it's less value than a European child? Just announcing those results have made the car manufacturers in Brazil and Argentina start changing their attitude. They're now producing cars almost to the level of their European models. Um, not yet five stars, but at least they're incorporating airbags, ABS systems, seat belts for all the passengers. These are basic things that you find in a European model. But the same model built in Brazil or in Argentina didn't only had two seat belts in the front. Eurancamp started off with uh, well three major tests: uh, the frontal impact, side impact, and the pedestrian impact as well. And then it has developed gradually with a pole impact, which has been very important and has been demonstrated that this also makes a huge difference to to vehicle safety. But also in terms of child occupant protection, we have now we've been, been able to put sort of stars on, on the protection for children as well. I think the future for NCAP is going to be in primary or active safety, which means avoiding the accident in the first place. Now there are some obvious uh, techniques for doing this. I think the most well-established current generally available one is a little onboard computer that senses when the car is going out of control and puts the brakes on individual wheels so as to correct whatever the problem is. And it's amazingly effective and demonstrably effective. Just the way that they changed the way in which cars are built, they will change the technology for the avoidance of accidents. It is easy to make the change because the manufacturers, they know what to have to change. They have in their chassis the structure to put better seat belts, to put the airbags, to put ABS. They can do it. The thing is, we were quiet, we didn't ask for that, so the manufacturers, they didn't give us that option. So now we're, we're making noise, we're claiming for change, and the manufacturers, they start to change. 